Hi, everybody. It's really great to see you again. Uh, we're so sorry we can't be with you in the summer, but we wanted to bring you another piece from our archives. This is from uh, last summer's performance, 2019. It's a work by Lembit Beecher, who is a young American composer called Stories from My Grandmother. Lembit uh, is from California, but his grandmother was from Estonia, and that informs a lot of his works. Uh, this is actually taken from an oratorio. He arranged it into an instrumental work. Uh, the first movement is uh, based on her memories of the summer uh, before World War II, where the Estonians were kind of scrunched between invading forces of Nazis and Russians. It was not a good time for them. So uh, these were from her stories of that time, his impressions of them, and um, it's a pretty fun piece. Yeah, I really uh, enjoyed performing it as well. And actually, I have a little bit of a personal connection with the composer, uh, Lembit. He and I were uh, at Rice University at the same time in Houston uh, in college. And at that time uh, in my career, I used to play for a lot of the composition students. And I can't actually recall if I played one of Lembit's uh, pieces at that time, but I certainly knew him a little bit. And um, it's it was great to see, you know, how his career has developed, how his music has developed uh, and play this really evocative piece. But of course, like a lot of new music, it's, um, it's, it's very rhythmically complex. And, you know, the first step for me in learning this piece was to literally go through the whole score and write in musicians use I call them sticks and triangles. A stick is a is a beat that's subdivided into two parts, and a triangle is a beat that's subdivided into three parts. And so, if you saw my music, it's just sticks and triangles all over the place, trying to keep track of the twos and the threes. And when you listen to it, uh, if you think like one two one two three one two three one two one two one two three, you'll start to hear it in your ear and get some sense of the internal structure of the music and and a little bit about what we're thinking about as we're playing it. Um, but it's a piece I really enjoyed playing and uh, was excited to share with you again now uh, when we unfortunately have to be apart. Yeah, the thing about. Uh this piece is, I think it really represents a lot of what Summerfest um, does in the summer um, beyond the traditional chamber music repertoire, string quartets or piano trios and those, th those traditional pieces. It also um, is common for us to really feature not just works of, from the 21st century, recently composed works, but pieces that you haven't, wouldn't be likely to hear otherwise. Also the mixed instrument combinations with strings and winds together. We've often done a lot of that repertoire because we have a full um, range of different instruments available to us. Um, in this case, we also include piano, a little different kind of a role for the piano in this piece than in a traditional piano trio like we played for you last week. And uh, Melissa was gonna talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I really enjoy playing this kind of piece. Um, I feel like I'm really integrated into the group not that I'm not in a, in a regular trio, but in the trio, I'm passing off melodies a bit more with the other instruments. And here I felt I was a little bit, you know, pianist plus a little bit of percussion and, and did a lot of the, the, the core rhythm uh, for, for the group. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun to put that together. And as, as Michael mentioned, uh, we all had to, to line up our, our beats incredibly um, uh, precisely, especially in that first movement. And it's, uh, when, you, when you listen to it, it's a lot different uh, from what you see in the score. When you first look at the score, you think, oh, I, I've got this. And then you start hearing everybody else and you're like, oh, wow, that's a lot different than what I imagined. But it was a lot of fun to do and it's a great experience to, to play that kind of a role. I just wanted to say hi to everybody and uh, how much I miss being able to play for you guys this summer and we miss you. <laughs> See you, see you next year, for sure. So everyone, we really hope you enjoy Lembit Beecher's Stories from My Grandmother, which is from our Summerfest uh, archives of 2019. We miss you, and we hope to see you again in person very soon. Thanks a lot.